What's up guys? Jesus here with the Vault Pro Scooters and today we got the new Chris Lewis Williams Sig Deck. So let's pull this bad boy out. Pretty traditional to the old model. It's still gonna be raw, silver color. Um, right off the top, you know, I'm gonna notice it's a new head tube design um, with the kind of like quad concave, as you see here, a lot of concave here and every pretty much surface. Integrated head tube. It's gonna be a head tube height of 3.75 inches. So three and three quarters. A little bit shorter compared to some other ones. So if you're running SCS, you might need some headset spacers. So as you guys see, it's a raw color deck and doesn't really have much of a finish. So a couple little spots like this, you're gonna notice it's kind of like a little bit off, but a little bit different compared to the Logan Fuller and the Alex Peasley Dirty Raw. This is just more of like a just plain silver raw finish. Advertised at five wide, but measuring it, it's 4.9, just a hair off the five. So, you know, practically feels like a five, but to be exact, 4.9. For the length of it, starting from the top all the way to the back, it's gonna be 22.2. Pretty good length and width. So, you know, for some of you guys that like more foot space, a little bit of a bigger deck, definitely a good choice. Running down to the actual foot space on the deck from the head tube to the back of the brake, we're gonna have about 15.2. For being only a 22 long deck, it's uh, pretty fairly average on the foot space. If you look at the bottom, obviously there's gonna be a new graphic, which is pretty sweet. Volcano, El Willy, got a couple eyes right here. Kind of reminds me of Groot for some, for some reason from Guardians of the Galaxy. Gonna have his name on the side still, of course, and nice rounded edges. I know in the last video you guys were asking, is it finger whip friendly? This one's gonna be a lot more finger whip friendly than the Attic deck, seeing that it's not gonna be a sharp edge fully rounded as well you guys asked for about what's the uh the width on the bottom so let's measure that out 4.8 so just about as much surface area on the bottom as you're gonna have on the top of the deck not too bad something that i did notice though is the grind rails right here on the deck there's a slight bit of a lip right here to the surface right here so obviously when you're grind you're going to be on these edges more than this flat face first going on next to the head tube this is something that was really interesting to me was this cutout right here it's a little funky. You don't really see that very often. Seeing something similar in the ions, the new Phoenix ions, but this is, you know, completely open right here, which, you know, you might think you might get caught up when you're doing a crook or maybe like a nose blunt. But for the most part, we'll have to see how that performs and how it tests out. I got the crisp emblem right here. It's just a sticker, so easy to take off if you want to replace it with something else. We're going to have a steel flex fender. It's three millimeter brake bolts and it's gonna be really cool because it's 125 millimeter compatible out of the box. So if you're running 125 millimeter wheels, right out of the box, you'll be ready to throw those on this bad boy. It's gonna have angled dropouts, not square dropouts. So if you're running pegs, super easy to run the pegs, as well as if you notice right here, when you put the peg in here, it comes a lot closer compared to it sticking out. So it sits really nice and flush as well. Deck spacers themselves though, pretty traditional. This metal piece and then the plastic insert just to keep it centered. For your axle, looks like Let's see here. Looks like a six mil. So nice. We got a six mil and then a 13 millimeter here. Let's weigh it out. So three pounds and 11 ounces. So definitely a bit on the heavier side. So if you're a weight weenie, you know, don't pick this, but if you don't care and you're okay with having some strength underneath your feet and something to hold you up, definitely a good choice. So overall though, guys, Chris Lewis William deck is about $140 US. The old model, as you guys know, it used to come with like a fork kit. So it'd come with the whole front end pretty much. You'd have a fork headset, HIC kit and all. So this one is gonna be sold only by itself. It's not gonna come with the kit. So the deck is only, you know, 140, which is a great price, especially for the size of the deck. All right, guys, you guys have seen the deck. Let us know what you guys think. Make sure you're subscribed and you like us on all our social media platforms and stay tuned on what's next.